and next up is Alex Latsko, talking about saving your OOB. Good luck. Thank you. Well, it's not exactly saving your OOB. Everybody here should know what OOB is, I hope. Out of band. It's your saving throw. Okay. Lightning talks don't get an agenda. Sorry. Real out of band is your saving throw when things go pear-shaped. Uh, I will credit if RS is in the room to originating the slightly more vulgar original expression, but um, that's pretty much where things are. There have been a lot of instances in the news recently of people getting locked out of major networks. And I would like you to consider this a sermon and a swat upside the head to make sure that your out of band access works. So when you lock yourself out, not if, but when, you can get back in and fix things. You need real diversity for real out of band. You can read it, feed from another carrier, dial up. Lots and lots of dial up modems were sitting on the console port of routers for many, many years. And you can get a hierarchical feed, so you've got real T1 dial up pots, uh, LTE, an alternate feed from your data center, feeding into a parallel structure so you can get to your consoles. Scaling serial. Uh, can I see a show of hands? How many people here have a serial management infrastructure that they can get to when everything else is broken? That's not everybody. That's bad. If you can't get to it when everything else is broken, how do you intend to fix it? Will it be a sawzall on the cage door? Uh, the data center might not like that. But you know, you can do a small serial device with a Raspberry Pi 2.0. Uh, the Max 203232 is a, just a voltage converter. And uh, you can go anywhere up. 48 volt dual power supply attach, console, maybe anything, as long as you can get into it from where you are to where you need to fix it. Servers, yeah, I suppose some of you actually manage servers also. Well, BMC is your friend. Being able to get to your BMC via your real out of band is critical, so you can fix your servers when they break. Uh, some have serial emulation at boot, the Swiss Army knife, a yeah. raspberry pie with a bit of magic. Thanks for listening to my sermon. Any questions? Yeah. How about a comment? So as a recovering network operator, what I used to do for low cost out of band almost anywhere was a $80 Microtech router board 962 with a USB port and a USB hub. USB to serial into the USB hub. I could then VPN to the little Microtech. I could have the Microtech plugged into an LTE. I could have the Microtech talk to a Wi-Fi in a data center. Blah, 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 blah. 80 bucks, maybe 120 with all the other cabling nonsense. And poof, I was there. So not having OOB, there's no excuse for it, even from a money perspective. Have OOB. Yeah, I agree with you totally. Um, my weapon of choice is a Cradle Point 600 series with a StarTech uh, USB serial adapter for small stuff. Next. So a question more for the general one. Chris Woodfield, DriveNets. How many of you have been told by security teams that you can't have out of band? Uh, how many of you have then taken your security teams out back and secured them? <laughs> uh, Touche, sir. Touche. Honestly, uh, it's not hard to secure out of band. I mean, worst case, IPsec tunnel, wire guard tunnel coming into whatever you're using. Mm -hmm. It can be made really hard to break into. <laughs> Next. Okay. Thank you. And as always, less net, more V6. See you next time. Thank you.